In the last tutorial, we learned how to make a sliver with surgical cotton. In this video, we learn the very basics of spinning. Spinning ideally means twisting the fibers. And here, we twist the fibers. We keep drafting them from the sliver. And I twist them with my fingers. And this is how our first basic of yarn is done. So here we are spinning with our fingers. But there are limitations to spinning with fingers because after a point my fingers start hurting, my hands seem to cramp up. And there is a very limited length to which we can spin. For me, this is the most comfortable length. And after this, I can't spin anymore. So that's when we use a pencil. So here I have a pencil. Make sure it has a smooth point. And I wind my thread, the spun thread, around the pencil. Let's just push it a little bit towards the tip. So here I wind up the spun yarn. And now when we are left with around 4 or 5 inches of spun yarn, we make a loop. And this is how I make a loop and insert the thread. I'll show you this again. So here I make a loop and then insert the thing, the pencil. So here this loop acts as a stopper from where we start twisting and the twist travels right down to the fiber. So now we learn to spin with a pencil, just the basic tool for beginners. So instead of twisting with my fingers, I start rolling the pencil on my legs. So while I roll you can see slowly the yarn is twisting up and here I see the spun yarn and then I pull a little bit and then again I roll and by rolling I'm adding twist to the yarn and every time I pull a little bit of the fibers from the sliver, you can see how the twist starts traveling. So I have spun considerable um, length of yarn, so I remove, just slip the loop of the pencil and then I wind up the spun yarn and again when we are left with just around 4 or 5 inches, I make a loop and insert the pencil. So it locks the yarn and locks the twist that we'll be adding and then again I start pulling a little bit of fibers and I keep rolling this is easier our fingers don't cramp up and this is just to understand the basics once we are able to spin yarn with finesse using these handmade slivers one can buy a spindle wool and learn to spin on a takli so again i am pulling the fibers and it will be e if you have made your sliver with real finesse and the layers have been really sparse 
the fibers will draft very easily and we'll get a very even thin fiber so keep spinning and enjoy <laughs>